Hi everyone. Uh, this is my Diamond X300. Well, we think it's an X300. Um, it was lent to me by one of the Harwell Amateur Radio Society members, Tim, uh, M0KP, very kindly. And I've lent him uh, one of my Wellbrook loops. And it's supported on an aluminium telescopic pole which was also supplied to me, free of charge. Um, an unwanted item by another member of Harwell. So uh, good timing because um, I think I've already told you guys that I tried to mount this antenna using two fishing poles strapped together. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and um, it snapped the end off both of them. So that wasn't good. Uh, so I've set this antenna up uh, yesterday evening and tested it on uh, with FT8 and I'm getting similar but slightly better performance than um, than my old than the original homebrew Colinia that was built by G1 ZMA. Uh, I think it needs to be taller. It needs, well, it needs to be higher up. Uh, probably another meter or two would be very helpful. And at some point, I'll do that. But uh, for now, I've just got it mounted using this aluminium pole in the usual way, uh, and uh, uh, all is good. Um, it's quite a neat installation actually and obviously it's much more rigid so it doesn't sort of sway around not that we've had much wind the weather here is absolutely lovely um, but what I've done is um, well another member Jeff M0 UHF he was interested to know how um, the performance of my diamond X300 compared to my existing homebrew Colinia now we he thought and I actually thought that well someone told us that the gain on this antenna uh, was uh, 9 dBs um, now it is 9 dBs but it's 9 dBs on 70 cents it's actually 6.5 dBs on um, uh, on two meters and I've already recorded a video comparing this antenna uh, the performance of it my received signal with Jeff comparing that to my old collinear and um, I've recorded this video afterwards really as just a, as a way of explanation so uh, you'll note if you watch this video and then you watch the next video which has got the actual results of that test which we did over the radio live about half an hour ago you'll realize that um, uh, that we that it was only when I looked online whilst talking to Jeff that we discovered that uh, the actual gain on two meters is 6.5 dB but we did actually see an improvement for sure I, I wasn't totally using the FT8 data from last night I wasn't so sure that it was better but um, it's definitely a better signal uh, using FM saying that this is mounted on a rod with okay it's got a tree close by it and this is kind of lent above the top of the house but i think it's a bit higher so um it's not certainly not ideal but um it was just a quick test something that we decided to do um so what i actually did was um set this up with uh, an antenna switch so what you've got basically is a single cable going into the back of the uh ft 991. I've just been talking to Jeff actually on 145.4125 megahertz is the kind of his the frequency that he uses for monitoring and that we talk on all the time. So if anyone out there ever wants to have a chat with us, uh, this is the frequency that um, that Jeff monitors all the time, and um, he catches quite a lot of DX actually on two meters just simply by having a radio tuned to this frequency all the time but anyway so single cable into the FT991 and then switching between um, the old uh, homebrew collinear and the uh, and the diamond uh, over there and um, well you'll see the results of the test uh, on the next video uh, or at least you'll hear them but basically there's definitely an enhancement with the diamond as you would expect um, so uh, if you watch this video first and then you watch the subsequent video um, these notes that I've taken down you'll actually hear you'll actually hear us talking about them so uh, I hope you enjoy that something a bit different uh, it was a bit ad hoc a bit sort of off the cuff spur of the moment but uh, why not you know what I mean it's uh, it's all good stuff and um, I'm very happy actually that I didn't because I need I, I was thinking about selling my FT991 to, to help cover the cost of the 7300 thank god I didn't because um, 
when you get involved in ham radio with like-minded individuals, um, having 70 SEMs, two meters, is very useful actually, just for having ad hoc conversations. You know, it's difficult, you know, it's kind of much more difficult to sort of have a chat, you know, uh, an ad hoc chat or an informal chat on HF because obviously conditions, propagation is so variable. There's quite often a lot of noise. There's quite often a lot of QRN and QRM, whereas uh, on VHF, UHF, uh, it's a lot easier. So um, I'm kind of slowly getting drawn into the whole VHF, UHF thing. Uh, and um, because on a sort of day-to-day, -day, but on a sort of practical day-to-day -day basis, it's just an easy way to communicate. So uh, anyway, this was just a very sort of quick, fairly non-scientific way of comparing two antennas um and uh with what we i look what looked like a positive result and um i hope you uh enjoy watching this and the subsequent video so uh thanks for watching hope it was enjoyable 73